Another way of creating extra assets similar to copy and paste is to create a duplicate. Now that requires us to have the object selected and for your cursor to be hovering over some portion of that object to reveal the transform controls, the little grid next to the cursor. When that happens, you can hold down on the Mac the Options key, that will be the Alt key on the PC, and that reveals the duplicate symbol, which is a black and a white triangle, which it's worth pointing out that that technique of holding down the Alt the Option key pretty much runs throughout all of the Creative Cloud applications. You keep the uh, key held down the keyboard, and then you drag, using the left mouse button, your object to where you want it to be positioned. And again, what you do now is you always, without exception, release the left mouse button first. And then once you've done that, you can then release the key on the keyboard. So that's the way that it always works. Without exception, release the mouse key first, and then whichever keys you have active on the keyboard, release those afterwards. And then I'll click away. So we now have our three shapes that are going to form the basis of our tree. Next, we need to create the tree trunk by making a rectangle.